quick here, hill climb. Quick hill. Hello guys, this is Fun and Automotive here, <clears throat> showing you guys my Jeep Liberty that I currently own. As of now, and this little thing did everything my brother's Wrangler did. Almost every hill, except about two, and those ones are rough, and of course the Wrangler gets it no problem. Slider, this thing's about 40 something hundred pounds. It's got... 265, 75, 16 tires on it. They equal out to about a 32.6, 10 and a half inches wide and 16 inch rim. Like I said, these are 16 by 8 alloys. Ion, sorry. Ion alloy, yeah. <clears throat> 16 by 8. And I think they look really nice, especially on here with the dark green. But it's got a two and a half inch lift kit on it, Daystar. It's done good. It's been two years I've had it on now. And it's only, it's actually never really sagged at all. It's been really good. Two and a half inch lift. All right, and right here I have the upper control arms, the JBA upper control arms. And that's the spacer in here, right there, for the front, and I'll show you the rear spacer, spacer as well. Right there, big old ugly thing. Yeah, it's a, it's a budget lift, cheapy, but it gets the job done. And yeah, it's pretty nice. The interior is nice. I'll show you the interior. It's got the 3.7 liter V6 power tech. It's pretty nice. Pretty good. Put the seat covers on them. I don't like these seat covers or those mats, but they're in it when I bought it. The four low in this works really well too. Really well really really well but <clears throat> all in all I like these liberties they're pretty good people crap talk them all the time which I understand you know it's got independent suspension you just can't lift them that high because you have to do all sorts of sh stuff with the independent front and then you got some triangle control arm thing underneath the rear end and it's just not the good not the best it's hard to lift it's just really hard and you have to do things certain things to them unlike a, an actual solid axle you know like a grand cherokee like this thing my wife's which we're gonna put a lift on and fix up soon and get it repainted and it's, you know everything's good so this is my video this is Fun and Automotive, please. Hey guys, this is Fun and Automotive here. I just wanted to do an update for you on the Jeep Liberty, so let's get to it. Okay, so the Jeep Liberty, as you remember in my last video, the two and a half inch lift Jeep Liberty video, I said I was gonna upgrade to a Jeep Grand Cherokee WJ, because you know, the solid axles and stuff, but <clears throat> these Jeep Liberties are just fine. I don't even, know why I was really thinking that so bad yeah it does have front independent suspension of course but it's got 373 gear stock so I could run a 32 no problem and others say that I could run a 33 with little to no power loss at all and I don't have any power loss with these 32s it's actually it's actually perfect so I just sat 
decided to just keep it and do what I need to do, lift it. <clears throat> I'm planning on throwing two more inches on top of this two and a half inch lift, so four and a half all together. I'm throwing some 33s on it. I'm going to be going with a 295, 75, 16, which is a 33.4, I think, and it's an 11 and a half inches wide, 16 inch rim. So, I'll be giving you guys that update when I do it. I gotta do a two inch subframe drop whenever I start that, whenever I start that lift. Two inch subframe drop. After I do the two inch subframe drop, then I'll be able to lower the shock a little more lower and the fork. Let me see if I can get that because this fork right here this whole fork right here touches the axle. I've already tried it. It touches the axle. This part's too far down. So I gotta do a subframe drop, drop all that lower. And then I can put that two inches more and I should be able to be fine. But I might have to put an extension between the, the hub and the upper control arm ball joint. I may have to put an extension right there because it may be too low. It's gonna to be touching the spring if it goes down any lower. So we'll see. I'll let you guys know whenever I get to that point and how I bypassed it and what I did. So, yep, just letting you guys know that's what I'm gonna be doing. Man, yeah, that was a stupid decision that I made that I was thinking of doing, switching. This thing will wheel just as good as that WJ. It may not have a V8, of course, but best four-wheel drive I've had. <clears throat> I've even had a um, 2000, 2000, I think, yeah, it was a 2000 Chevy S10 Blazer, and that sucker four-wheel drive like crap. I did not like the way it four-wheel drive, and I didn't like the whole push button. Um, vacuum line engaging on the four-wheel drive. This is just a lever straight up. You just pull it and it's engaged. That's the good thing about that. So yeah, I love this Liberty. I'm probably never going to want to get rid of it. Especially when I go up two inches higher. Two, two and a half, two inches higher. And four and a half overall or a little bit more with a 33-inch tire. It'll be definitely a little bit, good amount more, you know, an inch or so. And um, yeah, I'll be doing some more off-roading videos as it is now, before the lift. And um, I'll be showing you guys after the lift and the four-wheel driving videos with that. So stay tuned.